I still got red fur on me. Hi, Julie. How are you? So sorry about that. The computer needed an update. I thought I checked it earlier, like an hour ago, and it said nothing. And then lo and behold, right as I'm live, of course, it decides to uh, say that we need to update something. I think I just need to be better about uh, getting, uh, maybe checking this week, midweek, just to make sure there's nothing. Because this computer stays off until I do the shows. <laughs> It's not used for anything but the the live sales. Oh, you know what? I could have put this under for my tech stuff. Oh, why didn't I do that? I was not thinking about that when I was doing my taxes this year or this, for this past year. Yes, unfortunately, um, the system decided it wanted to tell me it had an update as I was live. <laughs> Hi, Tam. How are you? Happy Easter. Hi, Mary. How are you? So again, I apologize for that. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, like I said, this computer, because it's only on once a week, it generally, the updates wait until I'm it's turned on. So I think what I need to start doing... Hi, Jan. Hello to everyone. Thanks for coming back. Uh, I will probably just need to start turning this on in the middle of the week, maybe like on a Wednesday night or maybe even on a Thursday, just to make sure everything is up to date and squared away so this doesn't happen. Like I said, it's a brand new computer. I've had it a few months. Um, it There's nothing wrong with it. It's just because it's only on once a week that it will uh, it'll throw an update or something will happen like that little glitch we just had. Um, because it's only, I only keep it on for the show and then it's turned off for the rest of the, uh, for the rest of the week. Hi, Joan. Hello to everyone else tuning in. Welcome aboard. Sorry that that happened. Um, just, uh, just a little thing that happens with this computer. Cause like I said, it's on once a week. It's not even, I don't have it ever have it on. Hi, Joe S. Yeah, exactly. It decides it wants to be finicky when I'm, uh, just when I'm live. But, you know. Hi, Melody. Thanks for coming back. We'll, we'll give some people some time. And then we will rapidly go through all of these items. Because Pam has a sale right after me at 8 p.m. Eastern. I'm not sure if she is going live tonight. I know Katie and Nate are not at 10 p.m., and I'm pretty sure Trisha from Sandy and Auto as well is going live tonight. At least I think she is. Hi, Crazed Vintage Model. How are you? Hi, Steph. Ooh, I need to fix this. <laughs> no, it's not your computer. It's mine. Oh, it's just for this. I need to tighten that up. Uh, like I said, it's just because this computer is only on once a week. And that's why it uh, it does things like that update. It's not because there's anything wrong with the computer. It's just because it's only on once. But it is what it is. And fixes itself right once it updates. So we'll uh, we'll figure it out. Okay. Hi Christmas Joy. Happy Easter. So do you all have a special meal that you guys cook for Easter? We do ham, and my mom made this, uh, I think it's twice-baked potato casserole. And, she, and it's, it's so good. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really good. I go into a carb coma from eating it.
Ooh, roasted lamb and potatoes. Very good. And then uh, my mom makes this, oh, I can't remember the name. It's like, she'll have to put in the description what she, what it's called, because I don't remember. It's something salad, it's a pasta salad. So you take rotini, rotini pasta. Ooh, you know what, Dana? On Easter Monday, I'm gonna go to Walmart after work and see if they have any left. Cause I, I love finding the Cadbury eggs half off. Because what I do is I will, I'll probably buy like four or five bags of them for half price. And then I'll have them throughout the year. So if I crave Cadbury eggs, I'll have them because they don't make them all year. So yeah, you take rotini pasta, you take um, black olives, I think red and yellow peppers, uh, some Parmesan cheese, it's either Pecorino Romano or Parmesan and then Asiago cheese. And then she puts like a kind of, I forget the dressing. It's like a vinaigrette dressing, red wine dressing, some kind of dressing in there. And it's, it's really good. And then antipast. Why can't I remember that? Antipasta, antipasta salad. Why do I think it's like some fancy schmancy name? <laughs> Yes, it's the anti-pasta salad. And it's delicious. And then I made my, uh, that, um, those noodles, they ate, we call them Asian noodles. It's just a pasta dish. Uh, long story short, um, it has, it's basically soy sauce, garlic powder, onion powder, um, I add a little bit of ghost pepper for flavor, not enough to the point where it burns your mouth. Um, and then sesame oil. Uh, and then I toast sesame seeds in a frying pan. And then I will grind them up in a pestle. And then I'll dump it into the, um, to the sauce mix for extra flavor. And then... Um, put it into a bowl after you've cooked the pasta and then mix it around with some tongs so that, that the juice absorbs, all the sauce absorbs into the pasta. And then I add extra sesame oil into it. And then I throw in the extra toasted sesame seeds for extra flavor. So good. It's a, it's a very good uh, dish. And you can garnish it with vegetables. You can put grilled chicken in there. You can do so many things. I just personally like it plain like that. Yes, love, I love sesame oil and the smell of toasted sesame seeds are amazing. So that'll be good. Connoisseur casserole. Interesting. Never heard of that one. <laughs> I know. I'll, I know I'll definitely be scarfing some food. So that will be, that'll be fun to do, of course. Hi, Angelia, happy Easter. So we'll be having that. Um, I think, I'm trying to think of what else we usually have on Easter. The ham, of course, which I love. Ham, and then I think we'll do like corn or something. But yeah, I'm, it's gonna be a good, uh, good feast. So I'm not sure about invoices. For tomorrow, more than likely, what I'll do, like I do every week, is I will uh, I will probably do what I did uh, last week, and I will, uh, I packed everyone's stuff up, like, or the vast majority of people's stuff last week, like right after the show, after I had dinner, and then I just... Like at a certain time, I just said, no, you can do the rest of it tomorrow because I, I had packed basically everyone's things, but then I had two other um, orders to do. So I was like, I'll do that the next day because I didn't want to be up too late because it took me about two hours to get all of that stuff packed. Invoicing usually takes 10, 15 minutes because it's a lot of copy and pasting um, information and typing things out, uh, doing the invoices on PayPal, it calculates everything for you. So... I don't really have to worry about that too much.
Oh, your daughter's cooking this year. Ooh, homemade rolls, man. I think I'm, uh, I'm definitely making some people drool. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's what my deal is. Um, like I said, I didn't do a whole lot of shopping this week or didn't find too much because I was being picky. So, I, and uh, with it being the end of the month, you guys know I like to do my um, eBay sales video for the month of March. So I'll be on the lookout for that. Uh, that'll probably be up on a Monday, maybe, or a Wednesday. We'll prob probably a Wednesday. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, I'm hoping I find some good stuff. I'm not sure where I'm going to go this upcoming week. Hi, Debbie Gutierrez. Happy Easter to you. So I was going to go out to Strasburg, the Strasburg VA area, because I had found some pretty good stuff out that way, too. So we will see, because I already went up to the Chambersburg area. I did that a couple weeks ago, so... We'll see what happens. I think I need to branch out even further and go out to maybe go out to Adamstown again. Only problem I have with Adamstown is it's it's very um, it can be very expensive depending on what malls you go to. Like there are some I don't I don't even bother going to because they're just there's not really anything that I would buy for myself that's decently priced or um, you know for even for selling so. Hi, Sandra Fish. But yeah, so I like, I just I need to venture out and go to uh, some different places. Like I want to go back out to Bedford, PA for sure, because I, it's, I went there after we did our inventory in January and it's been a few months. So I'm excited to see what's there. I usually can spend all day in that area, which is funny because I only go to a few stores when I'm there. But I managed to find some pretty good stuff, so I can't be a uh, can't complain too much. No, I'm glad you're back, Poodle. I know that was that was a very weird thing that happened. So, yeah. But it's it's good now. Computer is not going to act up. I probably I need to get better about just turning the thing on. On. Uh, maybe middle of the week. <laughs> but yes, so that's, I enjoy, like I said, I enjoy finding stuff, but I also love being able to sell things and move things out. And, and you know, sometimes I have things that don't sell, be it eBay or here. Because sometimes when you're in the, uh, when you're in the shopping mode, you just kind of grab whatever piques your interest and sometimes you don't really see the damage or you don't, uh, you know, sometimes it's just something that's a little too common. Cause like I said, I pick stuff up that's interesting to me and if it's a good price, you know. Are you talking about the bridge that collapsed, Jan? No, that's, that's out in Baltimore. That's about an hour and 30 minutes from me. So thankfully, no. I had a couple people reach out to me and say, hey, are you all right? Were you part of that bridge accident? I was like, nope, everything is good here. Uh, where I am in Maryland, it's it's about an hour and 30 minutes away. So thankfully, I was not a part of that. So it wasn't a stupid question, Jan. It's just I appreciate you checking in. Everybody is perfectly fine. I don't think we have any family out in that area that I know of. So we are golden. But I appreciate you all thinking about me and con being concerned. There we go. But everybody is fine and dandy. Okay. So we are basically, we'll start the show in a minute. Um, I do want to, uh, if there's anybody new here who hasn't bought from me before, um, you know, just the whole nine yards, make sure you send me your name, YouTube name, PayPal email, and shipping address. My email is in the description box below. Actually, what I'll do is I will just type it in and then I will... 
I'll just pin it to the top so that way you all can see it. If you need to send me your information. So again, your name, your YouTube name, your PayPal email, and your shipping address. So that way I know where to send you your stuff and send your invoice. Um, I ship from Maryland on the East Coast. So that way, uh, or so that way. So that's where I'm located. So if you live in California or Texas or even up in Canada, the shipping can be kind of expensive. Uh, for Canadian folks, I do have simple export rate included in my pirate ship account. So you buy a small little item and you want to ship it. It's usually about a flat rate of a $9.49 as opposed to like $21 bucks that it used to be several years ago. Uh, let's see what else here. Um, what am I missing here? Oh, of course, make sure you're in live chat and not top chat or all messages if you're on a device. Uh, what else do we have? What else am I? I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, Pam Blanchard has a sale right after I do at 8 p.m. Um, and then who else? And then... Um, Trisha Sandy and Auto has her sale at 10 p.m. I'm not sure if she's going live tonight. I know that Katie and Nate, uh, Soul Nate and Vintage and Vinyl, are not going live tonight due to the uh, Easter holiday. So I'm pretty sure that Pam and Trisha will be live. I have their channels linked below if you are not subscribed to them and want somewhere to go late at night. Or heck, if, even if it's early for you all, wherever you are, like if you're on the West Coast after my show, you want somewhere else to go, you can always check out Pam and Trisha. Aloha, Cassandra. Happy Easter. Yeah, that happened really early in the morning, that whole bar hitting the bridge. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started here. For any of the industrial lovers, I have a really cool um, Roma Ghost humidifier. It's in a glass jar and has a metal top to it. This is what it looks like. Very cool. There's a little bit of uh, damage to the lid because, you know, this is older. And on the back, it says, Unpleasant Aroma Goes When You Use Roma Ghost. The clean, new, modern method of destroying kitchen, bathroom, damp cellar, sick room, and stale smoke odors. No wick to mess the hands. No bottle to spill. Remove cap and Roma Ghost does the work. That's what it says on the back. It is still in there. Just smells kind of plain. But I'm sure back in the day, these things worked wonders for people. I love the lid. I have to guess, and if I had, if I had to guess an age, maybe the fifties or sixties, could be very wrong about that. That would be cool, just the display with a bunch of other industrial items. Uh, if anyone is interested in this, it's five dollars. It's number twenty nine. Five dollars, number twenty nine for the Roma Ghost humidifier. Again, would look great propped up like this. Excuse me. In the uh, with all of your industrial type items. So again, five dollars, number twenty nine for this. And if we do have some time at the end, folks, we will do a quick recap. What else do I have? I don't want to forget this. Find all my stuff here. So I do have some uh, postcards, some pinup postcards for you all. Vintage Vinny doesn't need all the pinup in the world, but. So I like to offer it to you all once in a while. It's the same thing. It's of a lady in, let me take it out of this plastic sleeve so you guys can see it better. 
This is what it looks like. Almost looks like Betty White, don't you think, back in the day? So that's what it looks like. It's just a lady in a bikini, which is, you know, for the 40s and 50s, that was pretty risque for the time. So it's a two-piece bikini. And they are unused. So those would make a great addition. You know what? I have a little flower frog. I can show you all that. If you have the little flower frogs like this, they hold the ephemera really well. Let's see if I can do this like that. So if you wanted to put this out for summertime, you absolutely could. I think it would look great. Flower frog not included. But so if you wanted to display this with all of your summer items, you absolutely could. I think that that actually works great. So these are going to be $5 each and they're number 17. Five dollars each, number seventeen for the pinup postcards. First two people to put that number in will get one, unless the first person who makes that claim wants both of them. So again, five dollars each on the postcards, number seventeen. Stay. All right, so again, we have another choice. I have some band aid tins. So we got this one. It says band aid butterfly closures too large, Johnson and Johnson. So we got that one. We have this one, it says Health Cross Plastic Strips. And then oh, we got this other one. This is another um, butterfly closures, but it doesn't have the graphic of the actual Band-Aid on it. All were made in the US probably in the 60s if I had to Take a good guess. I thought one of them was dated 1966, but I could be wrong about that. Oh, no, I was right. It says Johnson & Johnson 66. Right, now in flimsy boxes. You got that right. But, yep, it does say 1966. Honestly, if you wanted these, and you could use them for your Band-Aids. And if anybody is interested in the... Band-Aid tins, uh, they are $6 each. They're number 19. $6 each, number 19 for the Band-Aid tins. Again, first three people who put that number in get their choice of which one they want, unless somebody wants all three of them for an instant collection. And Poodle, I see you for that. Thank you very much. And which one would you like, or did you want all three? Move my hand. So you want the one with the actual Band-Aids on it. All right. So that means I've got two other ones available. So let me just go ahead and remove the, uh, where did I put the prices on here? Okay, so we're good. So that means the other two are still available. $6, number 19, if anybody wants those. Oh, somebody claimed. Oh, Melody, thank you. And which one did you want, or do you want the other two? So we'll wait for Miss Melody, 
All right, so Bans, okay, so you want the red striped one. Okay, thank you both very much. So we will just put those right here. All right, let me take the tag off of the one. So that way I know that this one is the one that somebody Thank you. All right, so again, this is the last one, $6, number 19. We will come back to it if anybody decides they want it. So thank you both for that. Oh, oh. I've had these guys for a little while. Thought somebody might like them. Let me just grab my tag here. So these are Pot Belly Stove Salt and Pepper Shaker, still in their original box. They were made by, who were they made by? I don't really say who they were made by, it looks that, unless that's a company logo that I'm not familiar with right here. They were made in Hong Kong, but I believe that they were never used. This is what they look like. Excuse me. And then we got the other one. So it's a set. Thank you. So literally all they say is Hong Kong on them. There we go, so they can go into the box. Thank you, everyone. Okay, so if you're interested in the Pot Belly Stove Salt and Pepper Shakers, in the box, unused, they are $10, number eight. $10, number eight, for the Pot Belly Stove Salt and Pepper Shakers. If anyone is interested in those. I'm going to go ahead and put this back on the... Hi, Kathleen. How are you? Not too late. Um, I had to start my stream over again because my computer decided it wanted to do an update while I was live. So you're just... So you are just in time. So this you saw from my... Uh, salvage in time haul video where I kind of scared some of you all thinking that I was going out of business. <laughs> so this is just a little floral creamer. This reminds me a lot of KP, I think. This is something that KP would definitely buy. It's just a little creamer. It's got flowers on it. It's a little bit better. No cracks or chips, a little bit of gold wear. But definitely something that I know you all like. No maker's mark on it. Hi, Sarah Lund. How are you tonight? Happy Easter to you. So if you're interested in this piece here, this is $8 and it's number 30. And I, this would ship very easily because it's a small item and it wouldn't cost too much, even with all the packaging and such. $8, number 30, for the floral creamer. Again, $8, number 30, for that if anyone is interested. Do I have any, you know what? Do I have scissors up here? No, I do not. I'll just take the tag off of it. Okay. So this was really cool. This is a horse head uh, shoe brush and shoehorn set. Here's what the head looks like. Very cool. And there's the brush part. And then here is the shoehorn.
So if you are an equestrian or know somebody who is, I think they would really, really like this set. Yeah, aren't they cool? Hi, Stephanie. And forgive this, they had it taped. And what I'm going to do is whomever purchases this, I'm just going to cut from like right here because I don't want to rip the box. I just didn't get a chance to do that because they've been sitting up here the whole time because I filmed the whole video in my room, which I've been trying not to do. So we've got that. And like I said, I will cut this tape right from here so that way it won't ruin the box. Hi, Sally. Uh, hanging things, Virginia. I don't have anything that can hang tonight, but I will keep that in mind for sure when I'm out and about. So if you would like the wooden shoehorn set, it is $12 and it's number 15. $12, number 15 for the horse head brush and shoehorn in their original box. And it says deluxe wall plaque brush, brush, what's a brush? Brush and shoehorn, that's what it says on the box. So like I said, I'm gonna leave the tape on here as is. $12, number 15, if anyone is interested in that set. So running with the horse theme here, I also have a horse head bookend. Not a bookend, I'm sorry, wall pocket. Hi, Christine, how are you? Happy Easter to 89 of you all that are here. Here's what it looks like. Lust, almost like a lustery finish on it. Made in Japan. It's very, very faint, but that's what it does say. Made in Japan. Free of any damage. Uh, let's go ahead and measure this bad boy. So from the tip of the ear to, it's, it's a little over four inches tall. No cracks or chips, very cool. This is $12 and it's number one. $12, number one for the horse head um, yeah, it actually would. It stands up right. It's not going to do it very well in my hand. Oh, thank you very much, Sarah. Happy Easter to you. Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. And Poodle, I see you for that. Thank you, Poodle. That is yours. Gonna, you know what? I have a bulb in here. Probably could. No, this is one of the cooler ones. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna unplug this real quick. So if it looks a little dark, I apologize. Um, did my tag fall off of this? Ah, I guarantee you it did. Well, I remember what I wanted for it, so. So this is, if you are into roosters, or if you just collect them, this is a rooster figural lamp. Uh, the actual rooster itself is plastic. The metal, this piece right here is metal. So I'm gonna unplug it because I want you all to see that it does work. I did test it a couple days ago, but I want you all to see it in person work. All right, plugging you in. 
Jeez, that's a brain. <laughs> but you get the idea. It works. Um, you can hang it. There's a little hook right here, right where my finger is. So you can hang it on the wall. So if you get like one of those shades, I'm going to turn this sucker off so I'm not blinding anybody. So if you get just a small shade, you can hang this up in the kitchen or wherever you want it to, like in a study maybe. <laughs> I taunt to tick. Thank you. You know, I'm not sure if there was supposed to be a shade with it. This, that's just how I found it. You know, it very well could have come with a shade with roosters on it. I have no idea. So you can, like I said, it, you can hang it up on the wall. And it does work. Because um, I don't remember what the number is on it because my tag, you know, I'll find it buried in that, in that container. I already know it. So we're going to go ahead and... That's probably going to be a little bit impossible for me right now. Or maybe not. I think I got it. Oh, no, I didn't. There we go. I knew I could do it. So what we'll do is I'm asking $12 for this lamp. Um, if you're interested, put letter R for rooster because I don't remember what my number was. So $12 letter R for the rooster lamp. Again, made of plastic and then this part is metal and it does work. So $12 letter R for the rooster lamp if anyone is interested in it. Okay. Okay, just just fall. So I have a uh, So this is a project piece and normally I don't pick those up. But I know that people like these lipstick holders, so I did pick this one up. It was made by, looks like that says Laura on the bottom. I don't know how well you all will be able to see it, but it says Laura right there. Free of any cracks or chips, the white will go with anything. Uh, shabby chic, farmhouse, uh, mid-century. Um, Hollywood Regency it would look well or look great with too. Free of any damage. And if you are interested in the project piece uh, lipstick holder, uh, this is going to be $12 and it's number five. $12 number five for the lipstick holder. That was project piece or was a project piece, but it was done very well with the white. So $12 number five for that if anyone is interested. Okay. I do have a piece of mid-century. Um, this is Georges Spriard. I believe that this pattern is called Persian Garden. Here, as you can see, it does say Georges Spriard. Just a flat, or not flat. It lays like this. You could put your tray or your coins in here, your remotes. I believe that it came in a set. Like that you had the big one and then the little ones. All I have is the big one. In really good shape. The gold is not all worn off on it. No cracks, no chips or anything like that. And this one measures, let's see, five and three quarter inches tall and 
about six inches wide. And if anyone is interested in the Georgia Spriard, uh, um, plate, it's $15, number three. Fifteen dollars, number three for the Georgia Spriard Persian Garden um, plate. Ah, uh, I don't think it's fused glass. It looks kind of like recycled, though, doesn't it? Hi, KP. But it's got a really like almost like a grainy texture on the back. So again, fifteen dollars, number three for Georgia Spriard Persian Garden. Um, plate. And Kathleen, thank you very much. You know what? Let's not lay that there. We're not going to lay that there. Okay. Oh. Um. We'll just let that happen. So you probably saw these in a drop sale I did last month. Um, these are, I think they're just urn bases. I love the green on them, and that's what initially attracted me to them. So here's what they look like. The handles on this one seem to be a lot smaller than this one, but I still think that they pair nicely together, don't you? So these measure approximately... Five and three quarter inches tall. Yeah, I did, KP. I shared it earlier, but I had to uh, restart the stream because my uh, <laughs> my computer decided it wanted to update right as I was live. Uh, yeah, Virginia, absolutely. Some M&Ms or maybe even some... Uh, like peppermint candies would be good, jelly beans at Easter time, uh, maybe some candy hearts at Valentine's. Do they have candy for St. Patrick's Day? Maybe some candy shamrocks. And these I did price individually because I wasn't sure if somebody wanted just one or they wanted the set. Yeah, candy potatoes, there you go. Uh, so I did price these at $12 each. So first two people who put in the number for these will get one of them unless the first person wants both of them. So $12 each for these, number 10. $12 each, number 10, for the urn glass vases with the green bases. I don't believe that these glow. Do I even have my black light in here? I don't think I do. Rats. Well, I got one in the box or in the packaging, but. So again, $12 each for these, number 10, if anyone is interested in them. All right, KP, thank you. And would you like one or both of them? All right, KP takes one of them. So that means one is available. Okay. Oh, I forgot all about this little guy. Uh, I can reach him. Ah. So I've had these before. Um, it's one of those kitty cats that has a, uh, the tail is supposed to be like an air freshener or you could use it as a pin cushion. Just a tiny one. He looks like he's a bit scared though. It looks like he just saw something that just totally freaked him out. No maker's mark on the bottom. So you could put another like soft uh, like piece. Hi, Rachel, Manor House Vintage, how are you? So this will be $8, it's number 35. I thought that was a chip right here. No, that was just from how it was made. All righty. 
All right, Rachel takes it. Yep, uh, you could put cotton balls in there. It might be a little small, though. Thank you. All right, it is yours. All right, I got another plant. I got a couple other planters for you all. Let's do this. Oh, let's see. Let's see. And stuff just decides it wants to come off when it wants to come off. Hi, Val. How are you? <laughs> That's a good idea, too, holding it on your desk. I thought this was really cool. Uh, this is a planter. It's blue and black. Um, what do they call this? This is like dripware. Is that what they call it? So here's what the bottom looks like. I have no idea on the maker. It's a decent size. So this measures, let's see. So the opening is about six inches wide and about three inches. I'm sorry, six inches long and three inches wide. The planter is about two and a half inches tall. And free of any, there's a small little ding right there where my finger is right here but that's not too big of a deal and if anyone is interested in the blue dripware um, planter twelve dollars number nine twelve dollars number nine for the blue dripware pottery you can call it a bowl. Throw your loose change in it on the table or maybe some playing cards. Something along those lines. $12, number nine. Where do you want to bet this was for the rooster lamp? And it was. Oh, Val, thank you. It's his yours. Okay. So this is a really nice piece. Uh, this has a bird on it. I want to say that this was made by Norleans. Look at that really nice bird. This would be so great for spring and summer. Frosted glass. It's a stunner. And let's see. It measures 10 inches tall. Wouldn't she? You know what? Let me shine a light in it so you all can see. Look at that. Shine some tea lights in there. Isn't that pretty? May need a little bit of a cleaning, but not too bad. Uh, this is going to be $15 and it's number 28. $15, number 28 for the Frosted satin bird vase. Footed bird vase. $15, number 28. Free of any cracks or chips. 
That yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Norleans. I've had a few of their pieces lately, and people love them. I do have. Oh, I didn't take my price off of here. Oops. Oh, do you really? I completely forgot to take my price tag off of here. So we have the 1960. Oh, I just completely showed you all the price, now didn't I? <laughs> Take my tag off. So this is a 1960 Better Homes and Gardens dessert cookbook. Uh, it's in good shape overall. Uh, there is one page in here that is unfortunately torn. And the pages are also a tad bit dirty. I'm just trying to find that ripped page so you all know. Should have put a bookmark on it. It is there because I, I peeked through it real quick. Page 55, maybe? One of the pages was ripped, so I, I just can't remember which one it is. I honestly should have bookmarked it. Have I made anything from the book? Oh, no, I haven't. I have not made anything from the book at all. I am the worst. I, I literally just go and buy stuff. I'm not really much of a cook or a baker or anything. Oh, where is that ripped page? I know it was there. Well, it is here. Uh, there is some browning to the pages as well, but it's a 64 year old cookbook. One page is ripped, y'all. I just, I don't remember which one it is. Let me show you all some really cool pictures that are in here. Like, look, we've got a chiffon cake. We've got a chiffon cake. We've got fruit pies. I'm just trying to find some really cool, fun pages. Oh, oh, look at that. There's Emerald Crest. Somebody used the Emerald Crest as their serving plate. Isn't that cool? I'd love to find like an Emerald Crest or an Am or a uh, Aqua Crest. Um, Serving platter, I think that'd be kind of cool. Uh, what other cool pictures can I show you? Here's a strawberry cream pie. There's pecan pie. Looks like we got cream puffs and eclairs. I don't want to give too much of it away. So I'll leave it at that. Here's the back. Again, this is from uh, 1960. And if you are interested in the Better Homes and Gardens book from 1960, it's $10, number 33. $10, number 33 for the Better Homes and Gardens dessert cookbook with the one ripped page sold as is with browning pages and whatnot. And Kathleen, thank you. Oh, I know what that's too. And you're going to stay put. Okay. Thank you. 
They're very fun. I have a few myself that I like. Oh, let me take my price off of here real quick. So this is just a placemat. I thought it was really fun. It uh, was made by the Natty Bow Brewing Company from 1959. It's of the Chesapeake Bay. Oh no, it's showing, showing it correctly. And it's got different like historical ships and boats and different events and such on it. Very, very cool. And it's only the one, unfortunately. But it looks like we have Colonial Capital in Williamsburg, which I've actually been to. The British surrender at Yorktown, Virginia, October 19th, 1781. Montpelier at Laurel, built in 1751, a fine example of a Maryland plantation house. George Washington resigning his commission at Annapolis in December, on December 23rd, 1783. Just really cool, excuse me. A map of the Chesapeake Bay, land of pleasant living, published by the National Brewing Company in Baltimore, Maryland, 1959. So I thought that was really neat and different, nothing I'd ever seen before. Uh, if anyone would like the Chesapeake Bay placemat from 1959. Uh, this is going to be $5 and it's number six. $5, number six for the Chesapeake Bay um, placemat. This would be really cool framed up and put in a bathroom or even in your bar. If you have a, like a rustic-y, coastal kind of vibe going for you. So we'll bring that back, of course. Um, oh. Oh, no. Something else was 15. I don't remember what it was. Oh, Amy, thank you. I will put that with your tray and that towel you bought for me. So this is really interesting. I thought this was a planter at first. It's got a bird on it. And I uh, cleaned it up a little bit, the bottom, with a... Um, with a magic eraser and it cleaned up nicely. And it says, I don't know, it was not focusing very well for you all. It says, Scouring Pad Nest, circa the artist's barn in Fillmore, California. There we go. That's much better. It's free of any damage. I thought the bird's beak was chipped, but I think that was just how it was made. I think this would look really cool in the kitchen. Now I did look this up to determine how to price it. Uh, there was one listed on eBay for $24.99 and there was also one listed for $31.50. And I didn't see any solds. So I priced mine at what I feel is fair for you all. So this little planter slash scouring pad holder is going to be $15 and it's number 14. $15, number 14 for the birdie scouring pad holder. Like I said, there were some that were 25, one was 3150. So I priced this fair at 15 because there was nothing to compare it to. Just only what people were asking. And KP, thank you very much for that. So this is a little bit of a different, and thank you very much, KP. I don't know if I said that or not. What is this? Oh, that's the cookbook. Where's tag? So this is a, something a little different. Um, I've had a couple of the old shave mugs by Old Spice, and I have some brushes. I have some razors that need to go in them. Oh, perfect idea. So this one is one of the older ones. Uh, this was made by... Schulten Inc. in Clifton, New Jersey. Uh, and it just comes with your standard brush. Ooh, that was a little dirty. And then it comes with this razor here, which I don't, 
I'm not sure how old it is, but it, I'm going to throw it in with it because I think it would look great in a bathroom. Oh, do you really, Rachel? That's awesome. So the mug is free of any cracks or chips. You're going to get the whole ensemble, the brush, and the razor. And it's going to be $15, number 23. $15, number 23 for the shaving ensemble. Brush, razor, and mug. And Kate, or I'm sorry, Karen Williams, thank you. Let's do this real quick. Oi. So I have this ginger, I think this is supposed to be a ginger jar. So this is what it looks like. There is no maker's mark on it other than right here with some writing. At least I think that's what that is. Writing right there. <laughs> Karen. There is one small little ding right here. But it's covered up when you put the lid on it. Let me go ahead and take my tag off real quick so y'all can see the bottom. But there's nothing on the bottom at all. And this piece, if anyone is interested in it, it is $16, number two. $16, number two for the ginger jar. And I forgot to, to measure it. It is, let's see, it's about six inches tall. This would be great for cotton balls or whatever you want to put in it. It's got a really nice look to it. So again, $16, number two for the ginger jar. If anyone is interested in that. Oh, you know what? Let's move away from some fragile stuff real quick. I'm going to show you all this blanket that I've had for a while. And spring is here, so if anybody does shabby chic, this would be absolutely fantastic on your bed. I'm going to just move my chair back a little bit. So this is a roses blanket. And it measures approximately 72 by 90. It says it fits full and twin size beds. Hi, Marilyn. And it is brand spanking new, never out of the packaging. So you would be the first to use it. Uh, again, it is 72 by 90. It says it fits full and twin size beds. Non-allergenic machine and washable made by the Charles D. Owen Manufacturing Co. Inc. in Swannanoa. Hopefully I said that right. Hi, Gabrielle Lish. I'm really hoping I got that right. Swannanoa, North Carolina. And it has a five digit zip code on it, so it's after 1963. And it's brand new. You would be the first person to use this piece. And if anyone is interested in the blanket, it is $25, number 11. $25, number 11, for the Roses Blanket. Brand new, never opened. $25, number 11. Fits queen, or full and twin size beds. It is 72 by 90, Gabby. So essentially 183 centimeters by 228 centimeters. Uh, it's 60% polyester, 40% acrylic, and it's 100% nylon binding.
Um, I'm not sure. All right, thanks, Gabby. It's yours. Okay. Oh, I got another linen set for you all. This is also brand new. Hey, Angela, how are you? Happy Easter. So here is the, so this is another brand new set. This would be awesome for some time. This is a placemat and napkin holder. It still has the original box, but the box itself, as you can see, has been falling apart. Decorative Ensemble. Again, it is new and sealed, never been taken out of the box. And it comes with four placemats and four napkins. It's a pioneer product. The blue with the flowers on it is great for springtime if you decorate this way. Like I said, it has seen better days, the box. But it is still a great piece. And they are 100% cotton. That's what the tag says in here. This tag up here says 100% cotton. If anyone is interested in this set here, it's $20, number 26. $20, number 26 for the new old stock blue placemat and napkin set. And it is for a service of four. So there are four placemats and four napkins in here. Brand new, never been used vintage linens, probably from the 60s or the 70s, I would have to say. Again, $20, number 26, if you are interested in this. All right. Um, this is, this is so old. Okay. Hi, Sandra Grimm. How are you? Happy Easter. So this is really cool. I know that people love their birds. So I picked this up. This is a PM Moschendorf Bavaria um, dish here. Ovular, and it's got a hummingbird on it. And it's in really good shape. No cracks or chips. I might be able to take a magic eraser to it to clean it a little bit. But here's the back. It says PM Moschendorf Bavaria. I don't know how well that's going to show up on camera, but that you get the idea. It does say that. Let's see if I can do the Jen Eads trick. There we go. And this measures... So this is about seven and three quarter inches wide and about four and a quarter inches um, lengthwise. And this piece, if anyone is interested, is $10, number 22. $10, number 22 for the Bavarian bird. Uh, little dish. Ten dollars, number twenty-two. Oh, I almost forgot about this. So I've had this print. I bought this. I think almost a month ago, from the last time I went up to the Hancock Mall. Uh, this is a Playmates, um, I guess you can call it a print or a lithograph, probably more of a print. Definitely from the 1920s or 30s based on, it looks like the mom's hairstyle. 
And it is marked Playmates, made in USA on the bottom. And this measures about 10 inches long and about five and a quarter inches wide. If anyone happens to be interested in the Playmates, um, I think it's it's on heavy cardboard or like heavy card stock. Uh, this is ten dollars number twenty. Ten dollars number twenty for the Playmates um, picture. This would be great framed. $10, number 20 for that, if anyone's interested. I do have another Froggy. I want to say he's maybe made by Lefton or Inesco or something. Here's what he looks like. If I got any frog lovers in the... That's what he looks like, very cute. He would ship first class because he's very small. Kind of derpy with his eyes. <laughs> and he is $8, he's number 25. Oh, I should probably note that he has a little bit of paint loss on his eyes. A little bit of paint loss on his eyes. $8, number 25, if anyone is interested in him. Okay. Hold him hostage in the... Uh... <laughs> oh, you know what? That other price tag. Yep, we'll just do this. Okay. All right, so I do have a linen. Um, I'm selling it as is because it does have stains and such on it. Um, just staying at home, hanging out, chilling. We don't really do anything special for the holidays except for the meal that my mom cooks. It's just another day to just relax and not have to worry about really doing anything. What about you all? So here is the linen. I think it's supposed to be either a tablecloth or a dresser scarf, as some of you all call it. As you can see, it is stained, um, stitched, stained and stitched. Let's see if this shows the, the uh, pattern better. So that's what the pattern is. It's like a flower basket. I think it would be great for maybe like late summer transitioning into fall time. Or you could put it out at spring too. It's to me, it's got a very cottagey feel to it. And it's got yellow frayed scalloped edges on it. I think somebody would really like this piece. And this is, I measured it, it's 34 and a half inches long and 30 and a half inches wide. So it's a big one, but it would fit in a, definitely if I put this in a plastic bag and put it in a poly mailer, it will not cost a lot of money to get this to you if you are interested. There are no rips or tears, just the staining, which I will let, oh, well. Small little hole, I take that back, right where my finger is, right here. Small little hole. Somebody might be able to patch that. That's the really only issue. No major rips or tears, just that one small little hole. I fold this back up. What? You'll have to work tomorrow, Angela? That's ridiculous. So 
So if you are interested in the dresser scarf, tablecloth, whatever you would like to call this piece, uh, again, the dimensions are 34 and a half inches long and 30 and a half inches wide. And the uh, price for this item is $15. It's number 24. $15, number 24, for the dresser scarf slash tablecloth, whatever you would like to call it and or use it for. $15, number 24, for the linen. What else do I have? Oh, here's another price tag that didn't want to cooperate. So this is interesting. I got this in round top uh, when we went, not last October, but the October before that. Um, it's German. It says, and I'm sure I'm butchering this, Ratzefummel. So I assume that this is probably like a wine stopper or something. I have no idea what he is, but there are little metal pieces right here. So I assume, like I said, he's probably for maybe pulling, oh. What was that for? So Kara, thank you. I completely forgot what I just shared for what was it? It was $15, number 24. <laughs> so thank you, Kara. Now i got to remember what the heck that was. <laughs> oh, I've got one other item over here I was going to share, too. The table skirt. Thank you. This is bad, but I completely forget. Okay. So this piece... I assume it's probably for a, maybe to open up a beer bottle or something. I have no idea. I just thought it was very interesting. German stuff is very collectible. This German wooden type stuff is. It says Ratzefummel. Thanks, Kara. That, that's really bad that I literally just showed that and forgot. That's me lately. I just moved too quick and I forget. Ratzafummel. Yeah, he's a little bit spooky, but he's cool. So if anyone is interested in him, again, I do not know. Yeah, there you go. He's good for Halloween. You know what he, he would look great in if you were to make? If you get a, um, a scarecrow body, no birds come near your crops with that. And he is only $15. He's number 13. $15, number 13 for the, uh, for this wooden German head. Oh, there's a little bit of chipping around his mouth. But could you imagine that taunting the, uh, the crows? You put one of their favorite foods in the guy's mouth and then um, they're too scared to come and get it. Picture that, like put like a, I don't know, what do crows like to eat? Corn? Put the uh, corn in the, uh, in the guy's mouth and then they'll be too scared to come near it. <laughs> but again, $15, number 13. Oh, Melody, thank you. He's yours. Okay, what else do I have? Oh, I got this little guy here. Uh, it's a single shaker, but it's very mid-century. It looks like a, um, like a genie playing a sitar. It's just got a little bit of paint loss and I think all of the jewels are present. I don't see any missing jewels anywhere. 
Just a couple of paint losses on here or there. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. He opens up a beer bottle or something. Does it literally translate to rubber eraser, KP? That's hilarious. This was made by Tilso Japan. And if anyone is interested in the single shaker that's mid-century, $5, number 27. $5, number 27 for the mid-century bohemian. It could definitely fit boho, I think, too. So we got that. I think the only other thing that I have tonight to show you all and I forgot to share this last week. Got to be really careful with it. You know, I'm starting to wonder I wonder if maybe a pencil was to go up here and then maybe the mouth held um, maybe either the eraser or maybe held a sharpener. I have no idea. Karen, I see you for the, uh, for the mid-century shaker. Thank you. That makes more sense. All right, so let me just be a little bit more careful with some of the stuff that I have here. Okay. Yeah, corn eraser. So the last, or I think this is my last item for tonight. We went through all that stuff pretty quick. Are you talking about this or the the German thing? Okay, cool. Thank you. All right. So the last set that I have is this eye rice. It's a perfume bottle or perfume bottles. And um, it's got this little box here, which could hold Q-tips or maybe those makeup removers. None of the items are broken in any way, shape or form. Very nice, elegant set. It says I rice in gold on the bottom. It's got gold, which is in really good condition. Uh, here is the box. Let me just make sure I take my tag off of it. It's probably not gonna show very well because of the glare, but you get the idea. It says I rice import or no, I, ri I rice product hand painted. What the inside of the box looks like. There's the stopper. There's the bottle again. The eye rice mark. So it is free. None of these pieces are broken, which is amazing, considering they were probably used at some point. The gold is in pretty good condition on all three of these pieces. Yeah, you absolutely could use them as an oil diffuser. And when you're not using it, put the stopper right back on it. Uh, these are going to be for the set. It's $32 for all three pieces. And it's number 11. $32, number 11 for the three IW Rice. The two bottles and the little box. So the three pieces for $32, number 11. And LD, thank you very much. You're a new name to me. My email is pinned at the very top of this sale or at the chat. 
So if you could please make sure you copy and paste that and send me your information so that way I know where to send you these great items. Oh, it's, oh, you just did your initials. Perfect. I know exactly who you are. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Fantastic. Thank you very much. So I think everything, I don't know, a few things did not sell. I know Miss Pam is getting ready to go live. So we need to make sure that we get off of here so she has her airtime. Just want to move some things that sold into this bin so I know to, oh, I got three other things. What am I talking about here? I need to do those real quick. Okay. So this is, I think she's still on for tonight if I'm, if I, uh, I missed it. So this is what I believe to be a, an Art Deco era glass planter. It is uh, fired on paint on the outside, not the inside. There is a little bit of paint loss right here, but it still displays really nicely. But again, there is paint loss on it, so do expect that with this piece. But it's really, really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and end this. So it is about four inches tall. And if you would like the yellow glass fired on paint Art Deco styled planter, it is $12 number 32. $12 number 32 for the yellow glass or Fired on painted Art Deco planter. I thought this would be cool if you're having a party and you wanna uh, put your utensils out, you could put them in here. It's wide enough, you could fit a lot of plastic forks or spoons in there. So again, $12, number 32 for the yellow glass planter. And then I think this is the last item that I'd like to share with you all. This is a blue pottery bowl here. I have no idea who made it. I just know that it is definitely older. No cracks or chips. This is what it looks like. Yeah, ketchup packages is a good idea too. So this bowl measures a little over, or just about eight and a half inches wide, and it's probably gonna be that way all around, just about. And then it is, yeah, it's about three and a half inches tall. And if anyone would like a bowl that is free of any cracks or chips, uh, this bowl is $18. It's number 18. $18, number 18 for the blue pottery bowl. Great for potpourri or great for the dining room, uh, coffee table, fireplace, whatever you prefer to do with it. Yep, no cracks or chips. $18, number 18 for that. Okay, so I think that was everything officially that I wanted to sell tonight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a quick recap and then I know Pam is just getting ready to go on and because I had technical issues, I ran a little bit late. So we're going to go ahead and show everything that didn't sell with that sold. So that can go right in here. Okay. So I have the pinup bikini girl. It's the same exact postcard. 
Those are $5 each, number 17, if anyone is interested in those. Again, $5 each, number 17, for the pinup girl in the two-piece bathing suit. Um, stuff is just gonna go fall and I know it. I have the plastic rooster lamp, which does work. And we saw that, we saw it earlier. Um, uh, this is going to be $12, number 16, if anyone is interested in that. So $12, number 16 for the plastic black rooster lamp. This would be great to hang in a kitchen or even on a bedside if your bedroom has roosters in it. So we have that. Um, we have the, well, I call it an equestrian. Uh, this is horse head brush and or shoe brush and shoehorn set in the original box. Uh, the box itself does have some tape on it. If anyone does purchase this tonight, I'm going to go ahead and cut this right here. Oh, number 18. What was number? Oh, Kathleen, you want the pottery bowl. Fantastic. Thank you very much. That is yours. All right. Yeah, rooster bedroom. Cockadoodoo. All right, so if you're interested in this set, uh, it's $12, number 15. And this is what I'll cut off right here, so that way you can uh, enjoy the box and such. So $12, number 15, for the horsey shoehorn and brush set. And $12, number 15 for that, if anyone's interested. Okay, so we'll close that box right up. Oh, thanks, Kathleen. So the Project Peace lipstick holder in white, uh, free of any damage, is $12, number five, if anyone is interested in that. So $12, number five, for the white Project Peace lipstick holder. Great for many different styles. So $12, number five, for that. I have the little elegant floral creamer. No maker's mark to say when it was from or what country it was made in, but still very elegant and nice. Uh, this is $8, number 30. $8, number 30 for the little um, creamer. I have the ginger jar, the floral ginger. Oh, P. Greg, thank you. I have the ginger jar. One small little area with damage on the rim, but not terribly bad. Uh, this is going to be $16, number two. $16, number two, for the ginger jar. Okay, let's just not break stuff today. <laughs> I have the Moschendorf Bavaria Hummingbird Dish for $10, number 22. Thank you. $10, number 22, for the Moschendorf Bavaria Hummingbird Dish. Love the colors on that.
I don't believe anybody claimed the Norleans um, bird vase frosted. Let me go ahead and put a light in here again. How nice is that? All lit up maybe with some fairy lights or something. This measures, I think I said 10 inches tall. Yep, it's 10 inches tall. This is $15, number 28. $15, number 28 for the Norleans frosted vase with the bird on it. So again, $15, number 28 for this if anyone is interested. Georgia's Bernard sold. Did somebody claim the Playmates print? I don't remember if they did or not. Mom, can you confirm that? Did anybody claim this? This was $10, number 20, if anyone didn't. Playmates, probably from the 30s. Okay, thank you. So $10, number 20 for the Playmates picture. I believe that this is 10 by 10 by 5. So $10, uh, $10 number 20 for that. Um... I have the new old stock Pioneer um, linen set, uh, four placemats, four napkins, $20, number 26. $20, number 26 for this, if anyone is interested. It's brand new and sealed. Only issue is that the box has problems, but it still fits over this nicely. So $20, number 26 for this set, if anyone's interested. Um, oh, I do have one other of these um, urn vases. Oh, 26. Thanks, Lynn. That is yours. So I have one more of these urn vases for $12, number 10. $12, number 10 for the urn vase. And, oh, I also have the Pot Belly Stove salt and pepper shakers in their original box for $10, number eight. $10, number eight, for the Pot Belly Stove salt and pepper shakers still in their box. All right, thanks, Karen Kay. Uh, oh, I have the... I have one other Band-Aid tin. Oh no, KP, I think you only claimed the one. I don't think anyone else claimed the other one. So I've got um, one more of the Band-Aid tins. This one is the one that's available. Uh, 47 sterile plastic strips. Uh, this is $6, number 19, if anyone is interested in that. So $6, number 19 for the Band-Aid tin. Great for you even using for modern day Band-Aids because they just come in flimsy boxes now. And then the only other item is the um, Roma Ghost humidifier with some damage to the... No problem, KP. Thanks for mentioning that because sometimes I do that. <laughs> oh. 
Kathleen, you got one of the urn vases too? Why do I not remember that? Mate, you know what? It's coming back to me now. Okay, thank you, Kathleen. I, I must have totally missed that. So sorry. Okay, we're squared on that. Thank you. <laughs> See, that's what happens sometimes. I forget. All right, so we got the Collins Romagos humidifier. A little bit of a damaged lid, but it is still in good displayable shape. Uh, $5, number 29. $5, number 29 for the Roma Ghosts humidifier. They were made in Brooklyn, New York. Yep, we got it figured out. You guys are good. Sorry, I totally forgot about that. And I think that about covers it for tonight. All right, so I need to make sure. I, oh. Uh, I did just share this not that long ago. $12, number 32, for the Fired On Yellow Planter. Made of glass. I'm the crazy one, y'all. <laughs> if anybody is crazy in this establishment, it's me. So again, this is $12, number 32. $12, number 32, for the yellow glass planter. Uh, there is some paint loss on it because it is fired on paint on the outside, not the inside. Okay. So I believe that about covers it, everyone. Thank you again for tuning in and hanging in there with my uh, little mishap earlier. Um, so I'm not sure if, um, maybe if I just get up early enough tomorrow, I will do the uh, invoices or we'll see what happens. So I do want to wish you all a very happy Easter. Oh, you know what, KP? I, I took that video down. Um, I will send you some pictures of her though, because you missed it. I told I took it down because I didn't want to. Uh, I don't like to keep those few video or like those few minute videos up in my lives. So again, thank you all so much for tuning in, especially with all of my uh, mishaps. Me being me, the crazy one. <laughs> And I should have your invoices done, hopefully no later than Monday night, because, you know, tomorrow's Easter. Um, but maybe we'll see what happens. I may stay on schedule. Not sure yet. So I will have all of your orders out, hopefully, or invoiced to you all by uh, Monday night. Uh, and then uh, stay tuned for some videos. I've got one small little haul from one of the peddler malls I went to on Friday. Uh, my eBay sales video for the month of March and then another live sale next week. So I hope you all will stay tuned. Everyone, if you haven't done so already, please thumb up the video, subscribe. Um, make sure you guys go over to Pam's sale. Um, she's probably been on for the about, uh, last 15 minutes or so. If you do see anything that you were interested in purchasing and you want to know if it is available, please email me down below or Email me after the show. Um, if something didn't sell, uh, I will gladly sell it to you. And I will see you all in my next video. Have a great Easter tomorrow. Eat up. Eat lots of food. Stuff your face. Spend time with your family. If you attend church services, have great services. And I will see you all in my next video. Have a great night, you guys. <laughs>